What's good YouTube? It's your girl Sky, also known as Lil Piglet, and welcome to part two of our Tiny Tina's Wonderland review. Straight off the bat, I'm gonna let you guys know, we got into about two hours of recording and I realized my mic was muted. Yes, my mic was muted for the whole video. So I decided to put this out as a gameplay only video, which honestly, is still worth watching, I can't lie to you guys. I wanted to give you lots of something different to see this time. Before we chose a character, Stabomancer? Is his name? I still get twisted on this name. Stabomancer is the character that you saw me use the first time, but this time we chose Graveborn. I'm actually really happy I did that because there were quite a few differences between the two characters. So I hope you guys still enjoy the gameplay. We're going through a few different quests as well. We're not doing the main story that we've already done before. Everything you see today will be brand new things that you haven't seen in the first video. So. I still think it's definitely worth a watch and I hope you guys still enjoy it and for those that want to see something early before the release of Tiny Tina's Wonderland so get comfortable and enjoy this slightly more cinematic experience so let's get into it Interested in some spinning work? Fair tidings friend I have the perfect job for someone like you. And by like you, I mean willing to do back-breaking dangerous labor for a pittance. I do love breaking backs. What's the job? The blacksmith of this forge, Master Tunhammer, is off on a delivery, and he left me in charge of forging a bunch of magical gear while he's gone. Thing is, I kind of forged my forging resume. I don't know how to smith magic items worth a dang, but I do know it starts with mining magic ore. You grab that pick and bust your hump mining and defending yourself from wild animals while I do the much harder task of preparing the forge. You're all set. Now head to the quarry out back. That magic ore isn't gonna mine itself. There's the quarry. Ah! It looks like Master Tunhammer's locked it up. You can pick locks, right? Of course I can. Nice picking, apprentice. Don't know what I expected from someone who's half mouth.
bits of ore there to fuse them into a workable hunk of metal. Fuse the ores, apprentice. Fuse the ores. Here is you. Uh, it's this hammer. Master Tunhammer took the good hammer with him. And that magic ore is too strong for any ordinary tool to work. You try. Use the toughest tool you've got. Ah, I loosened it up for you. More importantly, I've done it. I've crafted the ultimate weapon. Wait. What the heck is this? Ah! Well, we tried honest labor, but now it's to do what you do best. Take better gear from other people and pass it off as your own. Let's be real, we both knew it would come to this. Now you're speaking my language. Where am I headed? To the mountain of despair! That's not its official name, but I am pretty desperate, so that's what I'm calling it. Also, what? bring the pick. No sense in letting good or go to waste. If you find any while you're out there, bring it back here for some extra coin. The mountain is full of adventurers who got lost and kicked the bucket while carrying all sorts of magic loot. All you have to do is get the good stuff and bring it back here. Then I can pretend I made it and Master Tunhammer will be impressed and probably give me a promotion. That means more responsibilities, which I can pass on to you for marginally more pay. Maybe. Ah. Right, I'm at the mountain. Who's our first target? We are looking for a ring that belonged to some like the Charles ring of fire dancing let him walk on lava unharmed. But he was notoriously clumsy and fell face first into the river and burned to a crisp. All that remains is that ring. <laughs> Silly humans. When will they learn that one wheel beats two legs any day? That's twice as many things that can go wrong. No wonder you're always tripping all over the place. Collection.
But if we just keep these awesome magic items for ourselves. That doesn't sound very heroic at all. What are you talking about? We looted them fair and square. We just risked our lives out there. Hey, that's right. Yeah, but we agreed to a quest. A quest built on a foundation of lies? If you don't finish the quest, you don't get XP. Oh, but I'm so close to my super cool class feature. Then you know what you must do, Valentino. Uh, who knew being a hero was fraught with so much moral ambiguity? Subcontracting your apprenticeship behind my back, have you? The Smithing Guild will have my head. Or one of our heads, anyway. Ah, uh, Master Dunhammer! It's not what it looks like! Uh, they were just helping me with little things! Uh, you know, I can't reach the tools on the top shelf! I did all the hard work! Right! Then let's see your hard work, shall we? With pleasure! A great. Yay, you there! Place my works on young mannequin so Master Tunhammer can marvel at my craft! This is the work of a master. This master! In fact, I made these pieces myself! I'm gonna hammer you and your thieving friend into bloody bedpans! gonna do it for our first look at tiny tina's wonderland it's been an amazing playthrough for me so far i hope you guys have enjoyed the two videos that i've put out i'm really excited for the release of this game and i want to say a massive shout out and thank you to 2k for giving me the opportunity to review this game early I've never played a Borderlands game before, so this was the perfect way to get into the franchise. Um, and I'm already in love with the graphics, the lore, you know, the mechanics, and the NPCs were incredible. All the characters uh, that were there and just the things that they were saying, I thought was really cool and really charming about the game. So I'm, I'm a fan. I'm already, I'm already a fan. And I've only had a few hours of gameplay. And I know that when the game comes out, there's going to be so many more things to do. More weapons, more characters, more lore, more quests, more side quests. There's a whole bunch of things we haven't even been able to discover yet, so it's going to be a great time. You guys are definitely in for a treat and are definitely going to have some first time experiences, even if you have already watched some gameplay of the game so far. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on our notification bell so you don't miss when we drop another video. And I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.